India recently commissioned the INS Aragat, the second Arihant class submarine, as part of its strategic efforts to bolster naval strength. Reportedly more advanced than the first, this nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine plays a key role in India's nuclear triad, designed to enhance the country's second strike capability. During the commissioning, India's defense minister emphasized that the submarine will contribute to regional stability while reinforcing India's overall deterrence and security posture. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the specifications, operational capabilities, and strategic importance of India's Arihant class submarines for both national defense and the broader region. Let's dive in. India's pursuit of a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine dates back to the early 1970s, after India's first nuclear test in 1974. Faced with rising threats from neighboring nations like China and Pakistan, India's leadership recognized the need for a credible second strike capability, an essential deterrent in the event of a nuclear attack. The Advanced Technology Vessel Program was launched, shrouded in secrecy, with assistance from key allies like Russia, eventually leading to the birth of the country's first domestically produced nuclear submarine, the INS Arihant. Launched in July 2009 and quietly commissioned in 2016, the INS Arihant became fully operational in 2018. Although entering service just a few years ago, the INS Arihant was the result of decades of research, development, and strategic planning. Designed as a key element of India's nuclear triad, land, air, and sea-based nuclear capabilities, it became the backbone of India's underwater deterrence. The Arihant-class submarines are based on a nuclear-powered platform, ensuring prolonged underwater endurance and stealth. The design was heavily influenced by Russian technology, particularly from the Akula-class submarines, which provided crucial insights into reactor development and hull design. What's more, the Arihant class is the first ballistic missile submarine built by a nation outside the five permanent members of the United Nations Security Council. At over 110 meters long and displacing about 6,000 tons, INS Arihant is a critical asset in the Indian Navy. It is powered by an 83 megawatt pressurized water reactor, allowing it to remain submerged for extended periods unlike conventional diesel-electric submarines that must surface frequently to recharge. The submarine can carry up to 12 K-15 Sagarika missiles, each with a range of 750 kilometers, or four K-4 missiles with a range of 3,500 kilometers, giving it the reach to strike deep within enemy territory from the safety of the ocean. INS Arahant's primary mission is nuclear deterrence. With its ability to remain hidden beneath the ocean's surface for months at a time, it provides India with a second strike capability, meaning that even if an adversary were to destroy India's land-based and air-launched nuclear arsenals, the submarine would still be able to retaliate, ensuring mutually assured destruction. This capability is enhanced by the fact that ballistic missile submarines like INS Arihant are among the hardest military assets to detect. Its nuclear propulsion, combined with advanced sonar and stealth technologies, ensures minimal acoustic signature, making it nearly invisible to enemy submarines and anti-submarine warfare systems. The commissioning of INS Arihant has shifted the balance of power in the Indian Ocean region. It provides India with a credible deterrent against regional adversaries, particularly Pakistan and China. With both countries possessing significant nuclear arsenals, the Arihant-class submarines offer a strategic advantage that ensures India's ability to respond to any nuclear aggression. Moreover, the Arihant program represents India's growing self-reliance in defense technology. The submarine was built at the shipbuilding center in Visakhapatnam. Although some foreign expertise was involved, particularly from Russia, INS Arihant stands as a symbol of India's indigenous defense capabilities. The Arihant class is not a standalone development. India plans to expand its SSBN fleet with at least three more in the class, 
including the recently commissioned INS Arigat. According to India's defense minister, INS Arigat, translated to destroyer of the enemy, with pennant number S3, is a significant upgrade over its predecessor, incorporating advanced indigenous technology and designs. Arigat maintains similar dimensions to Arihant, but boasts improved capabilities and systems. Most importantly, it features an improved maneuverability and response capabilities critical for nuclear deterrent patrols. Planned future upgrades may introduce the longer-range K-5 and K-6 missiles, which could potentially extend its strike reach up to 5,000 kilometers. The third nuclear-powered INS Aridaman, which is said to be bigger and more sophisticated and can weigh around 7,000 tons, is also currently under construction. This submarine will have more vertical tubes and can carry ballistic missiles with a range of over 6,000 kilometers. This class of Indian submarines represent much more than a technological milestone for India. It is a cornerstone of the country's strategic defense and a key player in maintaining regional stability. With a growing fleet of ballistic missile submarines, India is solidifying its position as a nuclear power capable of defending its interests in an increasingly complex global environment. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video informative, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.